Ambassador, it's so good to see you here at the DNC. Yeah, very good to see you too. And just quick for the record, if you could give me your background. Oh yeah, Jeff Bleich. I'm a former United States Ambassador to Australia and I also chaired the Fulbright Board and held some other um, uh, national security positions. Fantastic. So what do you think uh, Kamala Harris needs to accomplish in tonight's speech? Well, I think it's going to be important to reinforce for the public uh, the things that we already know about her, but to get her take on them. So I mean, we know that she's a strong prosecutor. She's an attorney, an attorney general. She was a senator and vice president the last four years. And so she comes in with a tremendous amount of experience. But I think what people want to hear is like, what what drove her? What what motivated her? Who's too, you know, what, what, what are her values? Uh, because they know what she can accomplish. She knows that they know she's qualified, but they want to know who is this person. So, you know, one thing actually just comes to my mind is that there hasn't been a lot of, at least, oh, and correct me if I'm wrong here, a lot of discussion around foreign policy issues, which obviously would be very relevant to your, to your job in the past. Is there a reason, if I'm right, uh, is there a reason for that? What are your thoughts? No, I, I think she's very happy to talk about national security. It's a major focus for her. And uh, she's been involved with Munich security uh, sessions and various other ways in which she has been a prominent leader on how we manage our security relationships. She's also, you know, she was U.S. Senator. She's been getting these briefings for a while as well as uh, as, as Vice President, obviously. And um, when Joe Biden, who is a true, you know, long-time foreign policy hand, chooses you as Vice President, uh, it's because he had a lot of confidence in her foreign policy skills. So just uh, out of curiosity, um, what would you characterize as the biggest external threat to America? And you're in Australia, so you're in Asia Pacific, there's quite a bit going on. I think there are quite a few issues going on right now. You know, there are short-term ones. We have uh, the rise of authoritarians. Uh, they like to talk about a multipolar world. And what they'd really like to do is avoid American leadership, because they know without American leadership, there's effectively no leadership, and they're left to their own devices. They can treat their own people and their own neighbors any way that they want, and they can start to undermine uh, the global world order, which has maintained security and prosperity uh, for, for much of the last 70 years. So there's, there, there's that piece of it, which isn't a small piece at all. But then there are longer-term challenges, including population and growth and, and, and climate change and uh, the impact of that on the global south, and China's ambitions in particular in, um, in Africa, in South America, and with its Belt and Road Initiative. So there's going to be global competition, and I think there are going to be some, uh, uh, some leaders in the world who want to play by different rules. And so how do you think Kamala Harris would need to govern differently from President Biden should she win? Well, I think in many ways um, she will be continuing some of the important values uh, you know, she, she's focused on the middle class and she's focused on ensuring that every American has an opportunity uh, and that they get to, you know, um, if they apply themselves, get to experience the American dream. So I think she's committed to those, those fundamental core values. But in terms of how she'll accomplish it, I think she brings a fresh dimension. You know, having people who grew up more as digital natives understand AI, understand the, 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 both the advantages and opportunities of technology, but also some of the threats and risks. She'll, she'll bring a whole new set of uh, tools to this job, including all the experience she has growing up in, uh, in Silicon Valley and being part of that revolution. Thank you so very much. Great, thank you.